Here in chapter 1, we're going to be learning about the Maya interface. When you first look at the Maya interface, it can be a little intimidating. There's a lot of controls here, but there is a lot of functionality also. Up at the top, you can see the standard menus. Now these menus will change based on the menu set that you select. Notice how the ANDS menus over here will change as I switch between the different menu sets. That's because there are so many functions available that they all can't fit at the same time up here on the menu bar. Beneath that, we've got the what's called the status line. And these are some of the main functions that you will use when working with Maya, including your open, save, and load buttons. You also can switch between object and component mode. There's a bunch of snap tools here. Here's some rendering buttons that you can use, and these will open the different interfaces with these buttons right here. Beneath that, you've got the shelf. The shelf is just a bunch of tabbed um, icon bars, and you can switch between these different, different sets. And if you hold the mouse over these icons, it will show you the name of the various tools. Beneath that, you've got the general viewport. Uh, you can switch that. Notice that the viewport has its own set of menus and buttons here. These will be talked about uh, quite a bit in Chapter 2. Over here at the right, we have got the uh, channel box slash layer editor. This will show all the properties for the object. For example, if we get an object open here, um, it will show all of the transform attributes as well as the individual attributes for that object, such as radius here. Beneath that, you can divide the scene up into layers, which makes it easier to select and work with different sets of objects. And over here at the left, you've got the toolbox. These are the select tools right here, paint select, lasso tool, and the select tool. But there are also some move, scale, and rotate tools that you'll use to move objects in the scene. Beneath that are the quick layout buttons. You can switch between the different uh, layouts here within the viewport area. Uh, this has four views. You can also load um, specific dialog boxes in one of the panes as well. At the bottom here, you've got some animation tools. This is the timeline. This is the range line that shows the number of frames that you've got in your current animation. Here are your animation controls to forward, back, um, rewind, play. At the bottom here, you've got a mail command line that you can type in commands. Uh, here at the bottom, you've got the help line. This shows you tips that you can get as far as what to do next. And here is a the command response. If you have problems or errors occur, they will show up here. So quite a busy interface, um, but learning to use the interface will be pretty key. Uh, one thing to note also is that there are many ways to access the different commands. For example, you saw how I created a sphere using the uh, toolbar button here on the shelf, but I could also come up here and say create polygon primitive sphere and it would also let me create a sphere. You could also type in sphere down here and it would create one. Or you could press the space bar to access the hotbox, which gives you access to all of the menus as well. So many different ways to access the same commands. And as you work with the interface, you'll find the way that works best for you.